my two cents on side hustles. Let's get started. Okay, so side hustles are, have always been a thing, right, for the dawn of time, um, but of course it's getting more and more popular as um, a lot of people want to get into real estate investing and they want to make some extra cash on the side. So I constantly talk to people about side hustles and a common side hustle is being a real estate agent. Hey, I'm thinking about doing that as a side hustle to make some extra cash. Now, is that a good idea? It all depends, of course. I never want to discourage someone from doing it because who knows, it might work for you. But here's where it becomes a problem. Right now in this market, it is very difficult to be a real estate agent, especially part-time. You have to spend time prospecting, you have to spend time looking up properties, analyzing properties, writing offers. If um, Then you have to do the showings, right? So showings might be during the day or they might be nights and weekends. Then if an offer is accepted, which on average I think is about 10 offers before an offer actually gets accepted, you now have to be there for the inspections. That might be happening during the week while you're working. It might have to be all this sort of coordination and your clients don't care if you're working part-time or not. They're expecting work to get done. So my two cents on the being a real estate agent as a side hustle, it isn't the easiest to do, but of course people have proven otherwise. Now, so what are my two cents on side hustles? I believe side hustles should be in one of two categories. The first category is something along the lines of what your specialty is. Reason being is you can jump right into it. You don't have to do a learning curve. So for example, if you're a teacher, your side hustle could be tutoring, right? You already have a specialty, you already know how to do it, you can get right into it. The whole point of side hustles is to make money right now, not six months from now, like if you were to be a real estate agent, where you might not get your first check for six months to a year. Another way to look at it is something that's easy to do, right? Because again, the whole point of side hustles is to make sure there's a low barrier to entry. So when I first started, I was actually working on the development side. So I'd be buying foreclosures, the courthouse steps, property, ma um, you know, project management, things like that. My side hustle was actually hosting open houses. So we would get paid 120 bucks every time to host an open house on the weekend. So I'd host both Saturday and Sunday, make an extra 240 bucks a weekend. So it may not sound like a lot of money, but it's not necessarily that difficult to host an open house. I'd bring a book, magazine, my laptop, get work done. While people came in, then I greeted them, showed them around, still did my job, but it's all about the lower barrier to entry. So my two cents in side hustles focus on either what you know, so you can actually charge more with lower barrier to entry for yourself, or something that's just easy, Uber driver, delivering groceries, things like that, things that are a very, very high skill set, so that way you can get in and start making money on day one. Thanks so much and happy investing.